Welcome to Faith and Fitness with Angela. I am so glad you could make it to work out with me today. Today is the first day of a Tabata type workout. Um, I haven't really, I will decide the name of it. It was going to be the Mighty Meltdown Tabata workout or something like that. But anyway, you'll see it on the title. But it is going to be more interval training. And what I wanted to do was incorporate more weight and more uh, plyometric and ballistic type things or just things to really tone the body. So I hope you will like these workouts and like my channel, subscribe to my channel and share my videos. Do those workouts with your friends and your family. Um, they are a lot more fun when you get to share them and when you're doing the same thing. You can um, even post in the, in the um, comments and let me know what you liked about the workout and what you'd, you know, and what you'd like to see. I would love to know that. Okay, um, as always, I always say Isaiah 40, 31 is our scripture today, but read the whole chapter, and I am going to start in verse 29. Well, I'll start in 28. Um, why do you say my way is hidden from the Lord? My cause is disregarded by my God. Verse 28. Do you not know, have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow, and this is this will lead right into our scripture, but really listen to this, and I pray that you will read the whole chapter of Isaiah 40. It's a fantastic chapter, and it's very, very encouraging. Um, have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary, and his understanding no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those, us, you, me, who hope in the Lord or wait on the Lord, will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. And that's our scripture. It is all of 31. But those who hope in the Lord or who wait on the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles, they will run and not grow weary, and they will walk and not be faint. And I absolutely love that. <clears throat> and it is true, God just kind of gives you what, you know, He gives you um, the strength to go on in these crazy times. Um, in, and if you look back over your life, if you, especially if you've known the Lord for a while, you'll definitely see how God um, ministered to you. So anyway, um, I'm going to, my timer had already started, so I'm going to do a little bit of a warm-up. We're going to just walk and talk for a moment. So here goes. All right. So what we'll do is just, we will just walk. We're going to walk and we're going to, we need to warm up the body. We want to pull things down. do some heels. In a moment we will kind of jog in place. Just a few. We'll just do some toe taps right now. Good. I am so glad you joined me today and I hope you like our workout. Good. Let's go. Just warming up our torso. We'll do some little squats here. We're gonna do a lot of these, so I don't wanna do too many. Let's go four more. All right, and what we're gonna use today, let's just do a little bit of a jog. So we're gonna do part of this song, maybe not even the whole song, but it's important. Let's do a heel kick, a butt kicker. Just kind of warming up, getting the body ready to work. I have some five pound weights and 
let's see. I think what we're gonna do is move this just up just slightly. Just a little bit. Yeah, if I'm back here. Okay. All right, we're gonna start our new first Tabata. All right. Um, all right. All right. Okay, so we're gonna start. All right, so we're gonna do, a, our first one's gonna be a play squat. Getting ready, go. Good. We're just gonna bring the weights right to the ribs. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. How are you doing? All right, we get a couple of minutes to rest. Not me, a couple seconds, 10 seconds. So, getting ready to work again. Here we go. Now, I'm not all the way warm, so this is gonna be part of my warm up. All right. Getting ready, four sets. So each exercise we're gonna do four times. And I am just using three pounds because I am just getting warm. Good. Getting ready. Down, rise, down, and rise. All right. Get ready for skaters. Skaters. All right, here we go, skaters. Good. Whew. Get ready to do it again. So, 20 seconds goes by pretty fast. So, get ready, here we go again. Side, side in a tap. You could use your arms to get a little more momentum. You're gonna feel the glutes working, abs working. Engage your core. You can step too, a modification would be just to step here. So if you feel like your heart rate is too much, then you'll just go right here. So this is our rest time anyway, but you can modify. You don't have to do all in. If you wanna go farther, you know, and faster, because you can, that's what you do. I might be really modified compared to where you're at, but um, again, I'm studying. I'm working on another certification and that takes take some energy and a lot of time so all right here we go last of these two more seconds 
All right, the next one is going to be an overhead press. And I'm thinking this isn't going to get, so we're going to go pull it up, press up, and down. Good. All right. Anytime you bring your arms over your head, that really elevates. Good, rest. Rest, it really um, elevates your heart rate. Whee! And it is hot. Good. So jumping under that weight, try to keep the weights really close to your body. So you're going, jumping under the weight. The weights never leave your body. So they're never, you know, sweeping. They're not like this. It is, it's just like this, rolling it down, just like that. Okay. Up and release. Up and release. Jump under those weights, press up. Use the momentum from your legs to get those weights overhead. If you don't have weights, just do the motion. Could do this standing on a, on a band as well. Good, oh, I worked right through. One more. Okay, this is a last set. I think I, good. Missed our rest. Good, so this is our rest. Get ready for a jump squat. Good. Now, if this gets to be too much, just step in, step, just go, just do a squat, okay? Good rest. I'm gonna take every one of them. <laughs> and it is hot in here. Hi, yay, yay. All right, get ready. Here it goes again. Oh. Oh, rest. Ready, here we go. Twenty seconds. Yikes. Last seven. Good. Good. Last set of those. One and two. Last one. All right. Mountain climbers. Here we go. Get ready. Let's go again, mountain climbers. Try to not let your hips go up. Try to keep your hips level in a plank. Push away from the floor. Make sure your hands are straight below your shoulders. Woo. Uh, 
10 seconds. Oh, yes, indeed. I am so glad. Good. You're gonna hear me breathing hard because it's been a while. Oh. Yes, indeed, you don't have to tell me twice. That feels really good. And there's a lot of dirt on my mat now. Yikes, I was working in the garden. Let me do a couple plank jacks to kind of mix it up a bit. Three seconds. Praise God. Whew. Uh, and only one more. Oh, yes. Okay. Improvise. And, oh, yes, indeed. All right. Let's do some basic jacks, half jacks. Whew, all right. Now, again, you can modify just like that if you need to, if you need more recovery, or right here, or you can go full on. Rest. Whew. Drink water. Oh, yeah, I think you're just gonna hear me breathe hard, but that's okay. You gain a lot when you're doing interval training. Doesn't take a lot to make a difference in your body, really. That's the good thing about, about them, about intervals, high intensity interval training will change your body pretty quickly. And the Lord put this one on my heart to do, and it will be just as good for me as it is for you. Uh-huh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's really good, uh-huh. Good rest, uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, it's good for you and for me. All right, one more time. Why not, let's do that. Why not make it fun? Why, why not make it fun? Exercise doesn't have to be drudgery. It actually is fun. And what's more fun is when you have, and rest, when you're stronger, and you can do more things. Okay, lunge with a bicep curl. Why not? Right leg forward. Okay, bicep. So again, make sure that you have a wide enough stance that, and make sure that your um, knee tracks directly over the ankle in the front. The knee is not forward. It should never go beyond the toes ever. And it actually, if you're in the right position, rest. It should be right over the ankle. All right, resting and so a bicep curl with a long lunge and I am dripping. Okay, so rest, let's switch legs, get ready. Make sure you have a very wide stance and we're just gonna go right, left, right, left. Here we go.
go to rest and switch sides. Make sure it's nice and long. Back heel should be up. And here we go. Good, switching side. Good, I'm grabbing lighter weights for the lateral raise. We're gonna switch sides. And we're just gonna stay down at the bottom. Up, up. I'm not coming up all the way. I'm coming up like three quarters of the way in that lunge, so it's gonna be a little harder. Ah. Uh, Rest, thank you, Lord. I'll take it. <laughs> All right. Okay. Here we go. Down. Down. I don't think I'll get a cycle in today. My legs are going to be shot. That's okay. Okay. Three, two, one. Feeling that. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Let's do full on. Just bring the elbows right below the shoulders. Keep the hands right straight out from your waist so that they're not in here, otherwise, you'll look like that. You don't want that. That's in proper form. Last set. Finish strong with me. Good. Good. All right, we are gonna finish with one or two, well, probably two sets of burpees. It's supposed to be four, but we're gonna do So I'm gonna do here. Okay, how close can I get to the wall? Rest. I'll take it. Ay, ay, ay. Woo -wee. Get ready here. Focus on getting into a nice plank rather than getting as many as you can. Whew. All right, two more. We'll finish this Tabata, it's four sets. We can do it. I'm just gonna go slow and controlled. Oh yeah. Yes, rest. All right, last set. All 
right. We made it through. Oh my goodness. All right. Yes, indeed. So we're gonna cool it down just a little bit. Turn the music down just a touch. And we're gonna go back to our scripture memory. Remember Isaiah 40, verse 31. But those who wait upon the Lord will renew their strength. They will mount up with wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Isaiah 40, 31. Good. We'll do a little stretch here for the shoulder. All right, a little stretch here. Try to pat yourself on the back for a job well done. Good, shoulder across your chest. Reach. And reach. Oh yes, I feel that. Good, let's go. Quad stretch, so you're going knee to knee. Tuck your tailbone under. Have a happy dance if you need to, I am. I'm on a squishy mat. Good, let's do the other side. And my legs are a little bit shaky. It's just because I've just been doing a little bit of light biking around my neighborhood and not anything strenuous because time, I've been working on a certification through the National Academy of Sports Medicine, earning another certification because I needed more um, CEUs for my certified personal trainer that I earned in 2006, but you have to have so many continuing education units every two years to renew, so I'm doing a new certification to meet that requirement. So it's gonna be a senior fitness specialist. I have a master's in exercise physiology and a master's in educational and organizational leadership. Uh, but um, as far as the exercise physiology, that kind of trumps all the other ones because you'll learn a lot of the same stuff. But the CPT gave you definite um, training like modalities and uh, it's like the, ah, uh, that feels good, inner thigh stretch here. A lot of personal training, um, programming and things like that, that you couldn't get the other way. So it kind of is a wonderful marriage of fitness and how the body works. The physio physiological adaptations to exercise, which are many, so I say, do it, exercise truly is so good for you because it's so bad for you. Your body has to physiologically adapt or it just, you know, if you only do it every now and then, then it doesn't adapt, it doesn't make any adaptation, it just kind of gives you what you need for that day. But if you start doing regular exercise, you'll notice a difference in your overall health. Your blood work will come back so much better. Your heart rate will, your resting heart rate will lower. You'll have better cardiovascular, or cardiorespiratory um, volume, you know, in other words, it'll, you'll maximize that. In other words, your ability and capacity to take in oxygen and metabolize things, even your energy, the way that you burn your energy, you can become a better butter burner just by training your energy systems, um, especially for endurance because um, runners are probably some of the best, better, I call it fat burners in the world and cyclists too because you really don't want to be using your glycogen or your glucose for that. If you could use your fat, it's the, that's the best way to go. Um, and the type of training that I do, I like a lot of um, endurance type things. So uh, that requires you to become a better butter burner. Ooh, yeah. That feels really, really good. All right. That will conclude our workout today. So thank you for joining me for, I think I'm gonna call it the Mighty Meltdown um, Tabata workout. Um, I'm, it's like really, I'm like, ah, which one should I do, Lord? But that one seems to work. So anyway, thanks for joining my high intensity workout today. Um, 
little by little they'll get more intense but you can take them back to wherever you need to go or even do less less is more sometimes you don't have to go crazy and gangbusters you can do do a little bit a little or if you needed to even do one one set take a little bit more of a break and do another set and do you know you you can do it's your workout you can do what you like but let me know what you liked about the workout today and um, share it with friends so like subscribe hit the bell notification so that you get notifications every time i um, upload a video i have cycle fitness i have pilates challenge which is a mat based workout it's mat and standing pilates and I do a senior tune-up, which is what I'm going to do next. I'm going to, where I'm going to focus on the core for that workout in a seat. And um, now this, so it's a pretty well-rounded fitness regime that we will have here. And if we build a little community of fitness nuts, it will be wonderful because we'll get fit together and grow in our faith together. We'll get stronger because Jesus is coming back very, very soon. And I want you to be there. I don't want you to be left behind because if you read Revelation or even in, um, if you read Matthew 24, Luke 21, First and Second Thessalonians, I think it's First Corinthians 4, maybe there's a part where, about the, the church being taken away. Anyway, ruptured or harpazos, um, harpazo taken out of here. Anyway, we will be gone and all hell will break loose. And I don't want you to be left here because it's going to be the worst time in all of history literally all the wrath of god will be poured out on this world and there will be creatures here that read the, read the new Testament or read um revelation it talks about demons being loosed and um it would men's hearts failing them for fear of what's coming upon the earth and i don't want you to be left here so all you have to do is call out to jesus he died for you it's for god so loved you and Angela, that he gave his only begotten son, that if Angela and you would only believe in him, he, he Angela would not perish, you would not perish, but have everlasting life. In other words, when we die, we have the hope of salvation, because Jesus paid it all, once for all of us. So Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for all those who watch the, these videos and work out with me, Lord. I pray, Lord, you bless them, bless them, bless them, and I pray, Father God, that they would grow in their faith, that they would read your word, Lord, and find out what you say about them and who you say they are. They are beloved, and they are, um, we are your children, Father God, if we receive Jesus. And I just ask, Lord, um, that you would just bring them into a saving relationship with Jesus, that they would know you, and that, that you would, that, and that they would know you and be known by you, Father God, because when we stand before you, we do not want to hear, depart from me, I never knew you. Um, I just pray, Father God, that you would say, welcome into the joy of your salvation. And well done, good and faithful servant. That's the prayer of my heart, Lord, that you would say, welcome, Angela, into the joy of your salvation. Well done. And I pray, Father God, that I would have many souls to bring to you, Father. Um, that, because that means many upon many more left that would not, that you know, less in hell, Father God, and more in heaven, Father. And I pray, Lord, that each person would touch another life, Lord, and that it's like a the proverbial throwing a pebble in the pond and the ripples go out to infinity. So I just pray, Father God, that that would be the case, Lord, that many would come to know you because of the video and because that person and that person and that person all these people share jesus with somebody lord and you guys i'm sharing jesus with you because he loves you so much and i pray that you receive him he died on the cross for our sins and if we'd only receive him as our lord and savior and receive his sacrifice for us because he was perfect and holy then we might be saved a is admit that you're a sinner and that you need a savior B, believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that He died on the cross for our sins and rose again on the third day. And commit your life. C, commit your life to, to the Lord and let Him be the Lord of your life. And I'll tell you, He writes the best stories. He is the author and finisher of my life. Thank you, Jesus, for doing that because you do write the best stories. And there is happy endings because that's how it is. We win in the end, Lord. And your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I thank you, Lord, for that, Lord, for your prayer that Jesus taught us to pray. Our, I'll just say it, it's um, the Lord's Prayer. Our, O Heavenly Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil and from the evil one. For thine is the power, the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, I will see you in the next video.